Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. When we last left off, uh, Renault was sort of like in a coma, and we found out Adia was possessed and found a sorceress named Ultimecia from the future who's trying to uh, find a loan to, 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 to uh, compress time for some reason. And we found out about the sorceress Adele, and we had to find a loan who's on the seat ship, and then we got a couple of them and stuff, and then we wound up back in the dream world where Laguna's now an actor. And we thought that uh, this dragon was curious in disguise, wound up being a real dragon. So, now we get to go fight this dragon for real. Make sure you're saved, make sure you're healed. And, uh,. And then after that, we just go in here and let's fight this dragon. This is the Ruby Dragon. It's kind of a boss battle. It can be kind of difficult, so. Not bad, but it's not easy either, so. <laughs> well, that's the end of that. Oh, Odin. You gotta be so awesome sometimes. Unless Odin misses, which I don't think he will. Because I think when the Odin makes an appearance, he's on the, it's automatically dead, so... That was... kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. The Gunner leveled up, Kira's leveled up, we get an Infernal Fane, which Quistus can learn that, which we will... At 14 AP, Shiva leveled up, Effort leveled up, Leviathan leveled up, and, well, that was very anticlimactic. Uh, how many are there? They just keep coming. We're out of here. So apparently that wasn't the only Ruby Dragon. I wish I could have showed you the real Ruby Dragon fight, but, eh, it is what it is. But anyway, it looks like we got the safety here. What is that? Uh, what is what? So, uh, that was really anticlimactic. I really wish I could have shown you the uh, actual ruby weapon, uh, the ruby dragon fight, but uh, Odin took care of that for you. I can't disconnect. What is this connect thing? Is it you, Squall? Yeah. Connect is just what I like to call it. It's when I use my special. Oh, this must be alone. Oh, I know. I must be asleep. That's why I can't control it. I'm sorry, Squall. Just let me use this spirit for a little while longer. Let me go back. She ain't here either. If I may ask, what happened to this alone? She was kidnapped by Esther soldiers. I've been traveling, trying all I can to get inside Esther, but... They were looking for a successor to the Esther sorceress Adele? Yeah, yeah, exactly it. Is she your daughter? No, but she's just so cute. Oh, I wish I could hear her voice. I want to hear Renoa's voice. Is something the matter? No, just the fairies. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't care who's in the past or what. I want to hear Renoa. I want to see Renoa. That way there might be a chance to save her. Uh-oh, looks like Qual Squall's got a little man crush. You can't change your past. I just found that out. When I was kidnapped, Uncle Laguna went on the journey to find me. But because he did, Uncle Laguna wasn't able to save me. Peter Rain side when she died. Rain wanted to show Laguna her newborn baby. Rain calling out for Laguna, so no matter what, I wanted Laguna to stay in the village. But it didn't work. I can no longer make it back to that moment. And also, I can only send you inside someone I've met before. I'm sorry, Squall. I'm about to disconnect. I'll try to speak to you again, to you this way. Sis, alone. I'm... You're not all alone this time. Don't say it. Don't say it, Squall. You're not alone. But apparently, uh... I want to hear Renoa's voice. I can... I can see if we can go back in time, maybe even change things. Hello! Hello, can you hear me? Send me back to the moment I don't know I went into a coma. That's not going to do any good. But apparently, Rain had a baby. Hello, you won't answer me? I know she's on the White Seed ship. White Seed. Adia Seed. Adia Seed? Maybe Adia would know the whereabouts of the ship. Then I can see alone. Then maybe I can go back. So that's our next goal. We get to go all the way back to Adia's house. 
and go talk to her at the end. She's go, she'll give us a hint on uh, the whereabouts where the seed ship's at, the white seed ship's at, so. So yeah, so there we go. So now we're gonna head back to the white, uh, now, we, now our goal now is to find the white seed ship. I mean, I know where it's at, but just to play it by the story rules, I'll go to Adia and she'll give us the clue. But I, I, I know the general location where it's at, so. Don't know why. Alright, so. It is what it is. Alright, there's nothing I can really do to. Now, I mean, I could definitely just show you where it's at, but if you don't know where it's at, I mean. Alright, yeah, let's, let's go. So we're going to head back to Adia's house. I think I got a junction everybody again, which will suck. We'll do that when we get back to Adia's house, make sure everybody's junctioned up properly. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, so. So, first things first, let's head back to Adia's house. Yay. So, we're now getting to the nitty gritty of the game. I mean, we still got a lot of side quests and stuff too, but this three is where everything really starts taking off. Let me find out about the main villain of the game, which got fit the true villain of the game and all kinds of stuff. It's just right now there's nothing we can really do about it right now. And a bunch of side quests. <coughs> we get a bunch of other stuff. We got more GFs to get. There's a bunch of stuff we still need to do. But this three is where the game really starts really taking off, so. If you can make it to this point of the game, that's where the game really gets interesting. So let's make sure everybody's junctioned. Yeah, we gotta junction everybody again. So let's put Cerberus on him, Alexander, Tom Barry, and Diablos on you. And do an auto, auto attack, and then we'll do magic, draw, GF, mug. That's gonna definitely come in handy. HP plus 20 and strength plus 60. We're definitely going to put strength plus 60 on Squall now. That's definitely going to. And now for you, we'll just junction everybody else on you. And do uh, that. And then magic, GF, draw. Hmm, we do HP plus 20 on you, strength plus 60, and move fine. There we go. So now let's head back into Adia's house. Let's talk to Adia. What in the world happened there? Oh well. Yeah, Squall should be definitely more powerful now, especially now that he has strength plus 60. Yeah, this is gonna be ugly. Oh well. Everybody should be a lot more powerful. Stole four fish fins. There's a reason why I want to get Mug on. Let's see how good Squall is now with. That wasn't even a uh, critical attack and look how much damage he did. But there's a reason why I want to get Mug going. Now that we learned it. Oh god, yeah. Squall is a beast. <laughs> we beat it even we beat it even before it got out of the sand, so hell yeah. I right, still hope we get more fish fans. Nine AP. Alexander learn boost. Alright. So let's put Alexander on something else. You know I need to actually show off Alexander. I may do that here. So Alexander, let's now put him on. Ah. Uh.
That looks good, actually. Ability. Hmm. I think, no. I know what I'm gonna do. I need to go ahead and put him on, Alexander on med data. And it may take a while, but we need to do that so we can start learning our next GF. I mean, yeah, start getting in the process of our next GF. Jeez Louise. Oh well. Oh, that's fine. Start learning some more, uh... Start getting some more, uh... AP, so it's not a bad thing. Squall is going to finish it up right now. <laughs> Everybody's now got the, uh, the cure thing, too, when they attack, so that's good. Two M-Stone pieces and two AP. Tom Berry leveled up. Yay. Get in there. There we go. But yeah, go to talk to Adia and she gives you a hint for the White Seed ship. So, the location. Like I said, I know exactly where it's at. But just for the sake of completion, like for the people who've never played this game before. And after this video too, I'll do some more of the seed test. So we can get our seed rank up and I'll show you. So, yeah, so we'll we'll do some more seed tests. I'm going to do those every couple of videos. That way we'll be, uh, get it up. Is there anything at all I can help you with? The white seed ship, the one alone, son. Those children are, they are very cautious. They will never remain in one place for long. I see. Oh, yes, however, those children still have taken a liking to Central's landscape. Therefore, they maybe have stationed their ship by an inlet somewhere on the Central continent. And Squall... Please take the, with you this letter that I wrote. With this, they shall welcome you. So we get the source with this letter. So there's somewhere around an inlet of um, Centra Continent. So I know exactly. So basically, you have to start scouring around the Central Continent, and you'll eventually find it. It's a little tricky to find, but uh, once you find it, then you'll be then uh, you're good to go. So we'll head over there and let's start scouring for the White Seed ship. So basically you gotta head north here and start scouring all these little crevices and stuff up in here and it'll eventually pop up. That's it, it's quite tricky to find, but It's not bad. If you're not careful, you can definitely overlook it and pass it several times without even realizing it. So, it's gotta look around and scour, and it'll pop up. So, it's not hard, it's not too hard to find, but it is. In fact, if you look out there in the distance, I just saw it. So basically, you got over here, and crawl up in here, and there it is, see? It's kind of it's kind of got to scour it a little bit, but there it is. So there we go. We meet again. Yeah, we do. My name is Squall. We're seeds from Balao Garden. I'd like to speak to your leader. I'm in charge. State your business. Depending on what you say, we may ask to you to leave immediately. Uh, I want to see you alone. Huh? We pose no threat. Adia told us that you'll be here. Adia? How? Adia is no longer under Sorceress or Samisius control. She is now our ally. There is no reason for you to want to hide alone's whereabouts from us. We want to take her along back to protect her from Ultimisia. Huh. Thank you for coming, but we have no reason to believe you. Please leave. So, they don't believe us. So, oh well. 
You heard our leader. There's nothing more to discuss. Oh, but there is. We'll find it. We'll find. There's somebody. There's somebody that you probably not going to rise. Please. There's nothing more I can tell you. I'm sorry. I don't talk to strangers. The leader said that, and we shouldn't talk to strangers. So. But if you look around a little bit, you'll find a couple people that would seem vaguely familiar. Whoa! Cool! I got to talk to a, a, a stranger. Stranger danger? Uh, made up there was a song named Stranger Danger. Wow, no time let me see, sir. There was a song named Stranger Danger. I was still named after a title. I'll have to see if there was a song called Stranger Danger. Because if you notice, all my titles for my Final Fantasy VIII Let's Play have been titles of songs. If there's a song named Stranger Danger, I'm so naming it Stranger Danger. But yeah, there's Watts. And Zone. Whoa, look who's here. Squall, how's it going? Can't believe you're here. Everybody doing good, sir? No, not exactly. After you guys left, the Galbadian buttheads came after us and we barely escaped to this boat. I was sure we were going there, sir. Zone went nuts and was thinking about swimming across the sea to escape. Hey, what's the plan? All you doing was whining like a big baby. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. And look who jumped in first. You, you numb nuts. Oh, God. Butthead and numb nuts in Final Fantasy. I don't see how these wackos keep surviving. So, how's Renoa? Where is she? Uh, uh Renoa fought against, with us against Adia. For some reason, she went unconscious after the fight. She's resting in the garden now. I don't know what happened. We couldn't protect her. Uh, I'm sorry. You son of a bitch! What did I say? What did I say, huh? I told you to take care of her. That nothing better happened to her. Scumbag, you pathetic lion scumbag! Zone, come on, easy, sir, easy. She's not dead. They just don't know what's wrong with her, that's all. Ain't that right, sir? Squall would never get up on her. Am I right, sir? Yeah? We came to get along because it's a new even force after her. If we get along with Renoa together, maybe we can get Renoa back. Really? See, Zone, I told you, sir, Renoa's gonna be fine. She promised she would come back. We'll have to free, we still have to free t uh, Timber together. Don't worry, sir. All right, but I'm gonna say it one more time. If something happens to Renoa again, I swear. Uh. Yeah, we knew that was coming. So let's save here. And, uh... So let's see what we got here. Care for information, sir, about the ship? Well, after the late, this lady named Medea left, there haven't been any adults on the ship, sir. So far, I've only seen kids guys our age. Okay. It's alone here? Oh, you mean that pretty girl, sir? She left when some other ships came. What other ships? Who are they? There were some soldiers on the ship. I know, I've seen them before. Esther! They were Esther soldiers. Oh, God, Esther's got a loan. Why Esther? What did they want with a loan? I don't know, sir, but I think she was smiling as she left. What the heck's going on? Damn it! About the leader. The leader's usually in the cabin below deck, sir. But if we go up here and follow Zone... We can get some really good items from this guy. But first, there's a missable item. If you don't get it now, you'll never be able to get it. The twelfth and final issue of Timber Maniacs. Why don't you talk talking to our leader again? Talk to Zone. It's kind of cool to watch the sea. You hardly ever get bored of it. Keep talking, Zone. I learned how to pilot the ship a little. It's tough. With trains, you have to worry about staying the track. Well, ships, oh man, you gotta worry about the entire sea. Keep talking to him. Hey! That girl next door, how'd you get it? Yeah, remember that girl next door magazine we got ages ago? This is where it's gonna come into play. Uh, hey man, uh, listen, uh, I was wondering if you can give it to me. Give it to him for free. If you pay for 25,550 25,5 gil, he'll give it to you. But you get some better items if you get to him for free. Serious? Oh man, thanks, you're awesome. Here, I want you to have this. We get the rename card, and we get. The Shiva card, yes. This is how we get the Shiva card. For just giving them the magazine for free, we get the Shiva card. So, that's why it comes into ha handy. So, alright, now, we need to head to the ship's interior and talk to the, uh, let's try to talk to the leader. See if he changes his mind. Here. 
And we must be giving them the uh, note that Adia gave us. This is Matron Trident. She really gave this to you? Yes. You guys called her Matron too, huh? Yes, ever since we were little. We were raised by Adia too. It was difficult to fight against her, but we did. Fortunately, everything, everything turned out well. He is no longer the evil. She turned back to the old self again, the kind matron we remember. Squall, thank you. We owe you and Balam Garden much. Even our salute's the same. <laughs> Major told us it hasn't changed since the scene was established. Let's see what's in this draw point, though. Come on. Draw point. Draw point. I want the draw point. Alright, there we go. Holy! Oh, God, yeah. I'm gonna get back to Squall. Oh, God. Holy. And then talk to the leader again. So it says in the letter, you're looking for a loan. I'm sorry, a loan is no longer here. So this is going to, this is going to show a little flashback of what happened to, of, to alone. Remember we picked her up from the garden near the F uh, Fisherman Horizon Coast? Yep. Hi, alone. She seems very friendly to everybody. Yeah, she's kind of cute too. After that, we headed east to get away as far as we could from Adia and Galvadia, which makes sense. So, before long, we encountered the Galvadian fleet. So that's not good. Galvadian found them too. They had a lot of ships. Obviously, they were searching for us. Of course. We should have been more careful. They pursued us in full force. Luckily, we were able to escape, but then our ship broke down and we were stranded, so that's why they were stuck there. <laughs> of course, Zone Watts is like, oh, running around like a chicken with his head cut off. There was no way we were going to let the Galbanians take a loan. Eventually, the Galbanians called up to us and we had no choice but to prepare for battle. Then an Estro ship appeared. So, Esther. Well, we keep hearing his name Esther, we're still not quite sure what it is. A battle began to, uh, between them and we were caught in the middle of it. Then something strange happened. So we're finding out exactly what happened to Alone. So we'll find out what our next, uh, like an objective is later down the, line, down the line, so. Suddenly an Esther ship came up beside us and Esther soldiers came aboard. They told us to get aboard their ship. It sounded like an order to evacuate. They looked very technologically advanced. Of course we refused. We didn't trust them just as we didn't trust the Galbadians. As the Esther soldiers were trying to convince us, the battle became more intense. Then we were forced to leave our ship. That's not good. What about Alone, though? Apparently all Alone's are following him. As the ship was pulling away, Alone yelled out something. Then all of a sudden she jumped into their ship. It wasn't like her at all. So apparently, to this day, I don't understand why she did that. After that, Esther's fleet withdrew from the battle and fled. So all they wanted was alone. But why? Why does Esther want alone? Maybe they're working with Sorceress Ultimicia. Maybe they know about Ultimicia and they're working with her. Who knows? We don't really know. After that, after they left, well, we, well, it's a long story. After our ship is full of repair, we plan to go to Esther. Sorry, Squall, we couldn't protect her. So alone's in Esther? We believe so. Where, where exactly is Esther and how the hell do we get there? Why does Esther keep popping up in all of our conversations now? Alright, so there's a. So I guess we're gonna give our. Uh, have you decided on the destination? Yeah. Esther. Oh man. Xenophobic Esther. There, the terrain's not really suited for flying for the garden. Anyway, let's set a course for Esther. Are we ready to go? Yeah. But we're not going to go to Esther yet. we got quite a bit of stuff to take care of. Now for this part, we need to make sure Zell is in the party. Because there's a bunch of stuff we can do with Zell. We have to make sure Zell is in the party. So. First things first, before we do anything, we're going to head back into the garden. We're going to head to the library. 
There's a girl, there's somebody we can talk to in the library, but we have to make sure Zell's in the party, so. For the next, well, everything, for the rest of this video, we have to just make sure Zell's in the party, so. So now we gotta look for it. Our next destination, we gotta look for Esther. So. So this is interesting. So Alone went to Esther for some odd reason. We still don't know why, but I guess we'll figure that out as time goes along. Oh well. We'll figure it out. So let's head to the library. There's somebody we need to talk to in here, but like I said, we gotta make sure Zell's in the party. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. There's a girl in here with a ponytail that we can talk to. Oh, the pigtail. If there's a book you're looking for, please let one of the library committee know. We'll be happy to help you. I've been waiting forever for Goodbye Peru. And has anyone returned it yet? Oh, this is Zell. I'll put a search on that. Please hold on a second. I'll put a search on that. Please hold on a second. So she's going to look around for a second. I don't know how long we got to wait, but... Yeah. How long do we have to wait? Oh, right, let's move on. Because I think that's all we need to actually do anyway, so. So now we need to head back. Now that's all we needed to do in Balaam, uh, the garden for now. So now we get to head back to Zell's hometown of Balaam to take care of a couple of items and stuff there. So, yay. But yeah, ultimate goal now is to find Esther. Esther is actually not easy to find. But we'll find it. I mean, we'll get to it. So. It'll be nice. Alright. So yeah. Alright, so now our goal now is to get to Blam. Yes, we're ready to go. We can keep the same party for now. Eventually we're gonna start switching people up, but there's nothing we can do anyway with Renoa, so. So let's head toward Balam, which is Well, up here. Now if you notice. Once we leave, the, we cannot ever go back to the white, the white seed ship. So that's the reason why if you wanted, if you wanted to get that Timber Maniacs magazine, you had to get it right then and there, or else you'll never get it back. So you would never be able to get it. So make sure you get it right then and there, or else they're uh, pretty much screwed. So. Come on, let's get to Balaam. <sighs> Don't you just love this? Not really. I gotta find out. I, I gotta remember uh, what I said for the title of the song. I'll look. I'll have to look that up. Oh well. Alright, so to Balaam. Where are we at? Balaam is way up there. So, we got a ways to go. It'd be worth it in the end, though. So, actually, when we get to Balaam, we'll probably call it a video and then we'll continue on in the next video of what we wanted uh, at Balaam. And it's already approaching 30 minutes, so we're gonna have to uh, 
I'm trying to make the video a little bit shorter, but there's so much to do. And I don't want this LP to run like 100 parts. I mean, it may actually still run 100 parts, but we got... I still got plenty to do, so... But I don't, I don't want to make it run like forever. Alright, anyway, here's Balaam. And so we're going to end it here, guys. We're going to come back. We're going to take care of a couple things in Balaam. And, and then a few audio and stuff. And then we're going to make our way eventually to uh, Esther. Which is our next destination. We're going to try to find Balaam. Oh, yeah. There is one thing I wanted to do. Because, yeah. Let's start taking the test again. So let's take the... Uh, I'm going to take a few tests before we end the video. So... So we're going to take the level 4 test. Only Squall can use a gun blade. The answer to that is no, because, you know, Cypher can too. Attack magic can be used against party members. Yes. There's an ability that allows you to make magic from items. Yes. Higher vitality releases physical damage. Yes. Blue magic is learned by being attacked by a monster. No. The magical dispel cure is poison. No. If you're Arcado with status change, but revive out the battle, the status change is removed. Ye yes. T Rex are, yes. Gun Blade causes more damage by pressing L2 at the right time. No, it's R1. If you stock up to 255 of each magic, no. Let's take uh, a few more tests. It's a level 5 test. No, no, no. If you want to read them, just pause the video. Yes, yes, no, no, yes, yes, yes. You just want to read them, read it, read them, pause the video. Y'all's weapons are gloves, so this is now level six. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes, yes, no, no. Oh, shit. I must have missed one somewhere. Oops. Let's try this again. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. There we go. And we're gonna go up to 15 this time, so. So now we got yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes, no. Alright guys, so now we're up to level 15, so yay. So we're going to end it here guys, when we come back, we're going to do a couple of things in Balaam, and let's in the party, take care of a few on and stuff, and then eventually make our way to Esther. But yeah, we got a few little side quests and stuff that we're going to be starting on here probably for long, but well, it is what it is, so. Y'all have a good day, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. This is DKS3A, the crazy gamer.